Welcome back to another episode of Ballin' With, guys. Today we are back at it again. We're still finishing up uh, the over-unders on every NFL team. Uh, going through the uh, list of them right now. Today we're going to finish off with the – or start off with the Indianapolis Colts. We finished off with the Houston Texans yesterday. Um, without further ado, let's hop right on into the video. Uh, rocking the Los Angeles Rams today as well. Take a look at that. Good old Super Bowl patch, old school football. You heard? Um, let's hop right into it though. Uh, let's double check what they had. Wins uh six and a half for the Indianapolis Colts with the new rookie quarterback Anthony Richardson. I like to call him AR fifteen. Um, I think that's pretty a good estimate on games winning though. I think between that six and seven mark. Um, let's see if they can get over the hump to eight nine, but. Uh, let's start off with week one versus Jacksonville Jaguars versus Trevor Lawrence. Um, you know, the Jacksonville has a, a slew of weapons. Uh, I think Jacksonville should win this game pretty comfortably. Um, AR-15 will showcase some of his skill, uh, but Trevor Lawrence is a difference maker. He got a lot of weapons. Calvin really is back and uh, running back game uh, with Zay Jones and Kristen Kirk. Uh, let's hop right into week two. This is going to be the, uh, a nice matchup as well. Number two, drafted quarterback versus the fourth overall pick, AR, uh, Anthony Richardson uh, versus C.J. Stroud. Um, this is going to be a nice matchup. This will be a winnable game for the Indianapolis Colts, um, but I do think Texans will rely heavy on their run game. Um, it depends how the run game for the Indianapolis Colts plays out. I don't think Jonathan Taylor will be playing, but Colts do have a nice offense of passing game or, or, or a slew of receivers. Uh, it depends how um, – if he can throw the ball in there, I definitely know C.J. Stroud can put, fit the ball in as well, and they can get a couple more first downs and a couple more drives completed. Uh, Texans has a, a capability of winning this game. Uh, I do think they will win this game. I do think the Colts will start off 0-2, but it will be uh, a showcase to see. Uh, versus the Ravens week three. Uh, the Colts will go 0-3. I don't think the Ravens will lose that game at all. It's going to be a nice matchup to have a Lamar Jackson versus Anthony Richardson. They say Anthony Richardson is the size, uh, is bigger than Cam Newton, and he's faster than Lamar Jackson. So those those are just the skills and attributes he has. Uh, I mean, if he's, you know, just saying those that, so just saying that, he has the capability of, you know, putting the Colts in the forefront of winning these games. Um with the Rams, though, the Rams defense is still stout. I feel like um, with Aaron Donald in the middle, man, uh, it depends how the offense uh, plays out. But the Colts defense is uh, no slums either. Uh, it's going to be a good game. Uh should be a winnable game for the Rams. Uh, I don't know if they're going to win, though. Um, I'll I, I pick the Colts here uh, at least to win one game. And if they don't win this one, they might win versus the Texans. But that's one game out of – Four, so they're one and four right now versus the Titans. Uh, it's gonna be another great matchup, um, uh, divisional game as well. Uh, I do think Titans will pull this one off, even though Colts are home. And depends what the quarterback controversy is in uh Tennessee, Tannehill, you got Malik Willis, and you have Bill Levis. But this division will play out pretty smooth in the next couple years with CD Stroud, AR 15, and Bill Levis, and Malik Willis as well. Um, we'll see how that plays out. I do have Tennessee Titans winning this game and the Jacksonville Jaguars to sweep the Colts this season. So they're right now they're about one and five six right now versus the Cleveland Browns. I don't think they will be able to do it. It's gonna be another good matchup. Depending how the Browns are playing, this should be a winnable game for them. But I wouldn't put it past them either for the Colts. But I want to give the upper hand to the Browns this season um, and have the Colts fall to one and seven. As well versus the Saints, they're going to lose this as well. I don't see them beating the Saints. The Saints have a much higher power. Michael Thomas is back. He should be healthy after a couple of years laid off. And Alvin Kamara should be back by then. And Derek Carr will be controlling that offense a lot more comfortable. AR-15 should be comfortable, but Saints defense is, um, is up there too. Uh, versus the Colts, so this is 1-8 or 1-7, I believe. Uh, versus the Panthers, um, I don't – have much faith in the Panthers this season. Um, they still have a good offensive line. Uh, so Bryce Young, I mean, they do have Miles Sanders and Adam Thielen. So a little bit more upper hand. If Bryce Young really, you know, is the command of a chief of the quarterbacks this were drafted, he should be able to do something. Uh, 
Let's double check, double down on. Uh, I'll give the Colts a win here. I'll give the Colts a win. It's going to be a good game. AR-15 not going like that. He's going to know this is something he has to, uh, you know, win. Like, they won in, they have a chance to be two in, like, seven, one in six, one in eight almost. So I do think they win here. That's two games by four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two and eight, two and seven. This Patriots and Colts game, man, I remember when Tom Brady versus Peyton Manning. These matches was crazy. This was the top of the AFC, man. Um, but now today we have Matt Jones versus uh, Anthony Richardson. Uh, I think the Colts can win this game if they you know, come off a good win. If they beat the Panthers, I think they can come off another good win and um, compete strong uh, and win this game as well. That would be three. If they can beat the Buccaneers, that would be uh, four. Four wins, three back, three in a row. They can get a little uh, little thing going. And if they do that, we went three in a row here. We can come back to the Colts and split this. That'd be pretty good. That would be five wins on the season right there. Um, five wins coming up on that six and a half. Let's see. Versus Bengals, I don't think so. Joe Burrow should be here around December time. Bengals should be playing for a playoff spot as well, or if not the division um, champs. So they should win this game, and I do think the Steelers will, compete, will be competing as well in that division. So I don't think the Colts will win these two, but they go on a quick little hot streak right here, those four games. Uh, and that's going to be five, six games right there. No, five games so far. They can beat the Falcons. So these are three winnable games for the Colts. They're five and whatever at this point in time. And they need to win one out of the – two out of the three possible. Uh, I don't know if they're going to win the beat the Falcons. The Falcons could be competing for a wild card – Play in, trying to. Uh, they, I think the Falcons have a better record than the Colts, though, at this point in time. Uh, I'll go Falcons. And then it's going to be the last two games. Um, Raiders uh, can be competing, or they could not be. Um, they still have a great team, Devontae Adams, Josh Jacobs, Max Crosby. Um, and if they are, I think the Raiders will win this game as well. Uh and now it's last to this last game, and they only won five games in the season. So I don't know if they're going to win that total of seven. They might hit on the spot of six, though. And I think they split versus the uh, Texans as well. Excuse me. Um, CD Stroud is going to be a good matchup again at the end of the season. Uh, and I think AR-15 is going to get his get back. And that's, you know, this is just playing for fun or playing for all the marbles, bragging rights for this week. I don't think these two teams will be competing for anything at the end of the year. But uh, we'll definitely uh, be watching. But, guys, double check. Uh, so, I think they're going to definitely go under the six and a half. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe for more videos, more content, more highlights, more news, more challenges. Uh, we got more. Um, we're going to do some highlights of high school games around the area, high school and basketball for this season, fall season. Uh, guys, stay tuned. Stay uh, locked and loaded, and we'll catch you guys on the next episode.